to another great first week of school. Ethan, it's almost November. Oh. It's okay, I've been busy too. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, why, just, just like Ethan, we've all been off to a busy start. Uh, the field hockey team finished third in heels and hosted Oak Hill High School this Wednesday. Boys soccer is undefeated this season and has their first playoff game a week from tomorrow, and that will be on the turf. Football has their senior night tonight on the turf against Freeport. Make sure to wear your Halloween costume to the game. And this past Saturday, the Global Action Coalition hosted a screening of the 10x10 film Girl Rising. Now, reporter Meredith Coolidge got to sit down with the GAC president, Madison Hines, after the event to learn more. Meredith? Thanks, Ethan. I'm here with Madison Hines, president of the Global Action Coalition, a club here at Yarmouth High School that organized the screening of Girl Rising, exclusively here in our YPAC. Madison, care to tell us a little bit about Girl Rising? Yeah, so Girl Rising is a documentary film created by the 10x10 campaign and it spotlights the stories of nine different women across the world in their fight for education. Great, thanks Madison. Back to you in the studio. Thank you to both Madison and Meredith. If you'd like to donate or learn more about Girl Rising, check out their website or join GAC. I'm here with junior Maddie Whittemore, co-president of Yarmouth Improv Club. How do you know how to do it? How do you know how to do it? What about the mom? Mom? Well, it's human again, you know. A new mini calcium league, Abba. Hmm. Why we are home? Well, well, what about the mom? The mom, mom, mom. Who the shumanina e lucky the ba the boo scuba diba. Thanks, Maddie. Now back to you, Amelia. Thanks, Abby, and thanks to the editors for those helpful captions. You know what I love about music? What? You don't need captions. It's a universal language. I feel like you're going somewhere with this. You'd be right. More specifically, I'd be going to YHS's new recording studio. Or Samantha Mangino is, at least. Samantha? Hey guys, I'm here with senior Parker Gessling, resident rocker here at YHS, to talk to him about the new recording studio. So, Parker, what were the motives in putting this space together? Well, uh, if any of you know Graham Gendrus, he graduated last year, uh, we took a class down at a recording studio in Portland last fall about kind of learning how to use this sort of equipment, and then he made me aware that there was a grant available for money for that kind of, this kind of stuff for the music department, so we put together a proposal, uh, submitted it, had a great presentation, and now here we are. Awesome. So how can students use this space? Well, how I've used it is, uh, and I've had a couple other people contact me about using it this way, is recording some supplements for college applications, music supplements. If you're a singer or an instrumentalist and you want that in your application, you can uh, get in touch with me. And also, just, uh, just for fun. It's a great way to um, get creative and make some music. Have a good time. Absolutely. So can you put a little sample together for us? Oh, yeah, we can. Here we go. So... We got. We already got the drum kit all started out here, and we'll uh, lay down a little bass. All right, and then we'll uh, we'll get a little guitar in there. Get some guitar action going. Whoa, yeah. And then we'll get some lead on top of that. And then we'll be all ready to go. It's just as easy as that, everybody. Right. You just witnessed music created. So if any of you are interested in using the space, make sure to email Parker so you can stay in the loop regarding any future events with the recording studio. Now back to you guys. Rock on, Yarmouth. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sam. What are you dressing as for Halloween, Ethan? Miley Cyrus. Please don't twerk. <sighs> Fine. Well, uh, what about you? Something clever, like the government shutdown. How would you... I, I'll figure it out. All I really care about is getting candy, though. Funny you should mention that. Brianna has just a student survey for you. Thanks, Ethan. 
Morgan. I'm here with our student survey, which is, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Sammy, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Um, Skittles. The question is, what's your favorite Halloween candy? <laughs> Skittles. Definitely Tootsie Rolls. What's your favorite candy, James? Three Musketeers bars are pretty damn good. Snickers. Almond Joy. Um, I like Almond Joys. I really like Sour Patch Kids. The uh, erasers that the teachers give out. Pretty hard to choose, but I'm going to say Butterfinger. Candy Corn? What is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, definitely Kit Kats. Candy Corn. Reese's. I could sure use some chocolate covered gummy bears right now. Really? I'm more of a Smarties fan. Well, before we settle this dispute, we should probably sign off. You're right. Things could get ugly. Why, Jess? Thanks for watching.